Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to this ongoing series where we are attempting to take photographs of a physical part and use those photographs to recreate the 3D model and ultimately 3D print some replacement parts. This is a foot for a music stand and I lost the other two feet so I'm going to recreate a set of three feet and 3D print them out. Now, in the last video, we talked about how to import those images. We showed a pro tip on how to crop those images, and we showed how to get those images into Onshape at a scale of one to one. Now we are ready to start tracing this geometry in an Onshape sketch. So I'm gonna go to the front plane in Onshape and begin a new sketch, and I'm gonna launch this tool here, the Bezier Spline Command. This is a really useful tool to trace photographs because it's just an easy to use spline command. You just kind of go around and click points and then you can hit escape a few times when you're done. And what you've done here is you've created kind of a framework, a polygonal framework of control points for that spline. So all I need to do now is just drag these points around until the spline more or less matches the geometry of this part. Now for this top point here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this line and press H on my keyboard, and that's gonna create a horizontal relationship for that top segment. That way I'll be set up nicely to mirror this model and I can just create half of the model. For this next point here, I'll just kind of drag this up until that hump kind of matches the photograph. I'm gonna take this point here and drag it until the spline is almost tangent to the sidewall of my layout sketch. And then for this final point, I'm just gonna drop it here at the bottom and a little bit more finagling here, and I think we have ourselves a winner. This looks pretty darn good. And in the case of today's project, I'm working with TPU, which is a flexible material. So that gives me even more room for tolerance when it comes to perfectly tracing the photograph. I think for this bottom section here, I'm just gonna create a little straight line segment. I can always fill it that off later, but I think that's gonna help me to connect to this next arc here. And then for this final arc, I'm gonna once again use that Bezier spline command, and I'm gonna click right here in the middle of the model, click a second point here, and then finish up on that point. I think I'm gonna take this line here and press H on my keyboard to make that horizontal so I can mirror that pretty easily and I think we are good to go here. I mean, that looks pretty darn good, pretty darn close to what the physical model looks like. So let's create a final line that runs down the middle of the part here, and then let's turn this into a solid extrusion. So I'm gonna do S key extrude, and we're gonna bring that out to a depth of, let's measure the part here. Looks like about 20 millimeters. So we're gonna make that to a depth of 20 millimeters. And that should get us pretty close to matching the physical model. Okay, so now I'm just gonna repeat basically that whole process, but this time I'm gonna be working from the right side of the model. So I'm gonna select the right plane, begin a new sketch, and use the insert image command. Now I'm gonna begin a new sketch, and I'm gonna trace some sketch geometry over that photograph. And once that sketch geometry is matching the photograph, I'm gonna use a cut extrude, and wow, this is already looking a lot like the replacement part. This is great. Let's go around and add some fillets onto the outside to kind of smooth things out. And then we're gonna add a shell at 1.4 millimeters. But I think I'm actually gonna roll back before those fillets. Uh, I still want the shell, but I wanna add in these bumps here on the end of the part. And I wanna use sharp geometry before the fillets because that's gonna make it easy for me to use delete face to clean up the inside. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna add the fillets back onto these bumps and then I'm gonna roll forward and adjust those other fillets I created earlier. And now all I need to do is add some fillets onto the inside of this model just to smooth things out. This is looking good. Let's go into a mirror command, mirror the entire part. And boom, there we go. That is a 3D model and that is certainly gonna get me pretty close to a replacement part for these feet. So I think at this point, I'm ready to send this over to the 3D printer. I'm just gonna print one to get started and I'm gonna see how that one fits and if I need to make any final tweaks. But I think I'll save that for the next video. I'll send it over to the printer and in the next video, I'll let you know how it turned out. For now, I think this is a good place to stop. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this video. Did you learn anything? Do you have any questions? And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode.